Yeah, that's why I like I just can't stop thinking about it. Mostly because, so I, I tend to get like kind of obsessive about things. <laughs> I, I mean, I would, I, that, that, I feel like that might have a little bit of a negative connotation, being obsessive. What I'm trying to say is I tend to go all into everything I do. Yeah. I mean, I, you know this about me, obviously, right? And so when I say I can't stop thinking about like jujitsu, I'm not saying that like I'm obsessed with jujitsu in the same way that I'm like just that one track mind with something that's like fun. Right. I'm, I can't stop thinking about it because of how it translates to like everything that I'm doing in my life right now, which that's very different than like, Oh, I have a new hobby that I like, you know what I mean? So it's not just like a new cool thing. It's more of like, I can't stop thinking about it because of like a breakthrough that I just had or like how that applies to what I'm doing in my own life and my, and my barriers in my life itself right now. Yeah. So it's easy to relate to your normal life as well. Right. So easy. And it's like almost like uh, scary how easy it is. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Why do you laugh at, why do you laugh at that? Why is that? What does that hit home? Because I always say like jujitsu is who you really are. Like there's yeah. no, there's no denying it. How you react off the mats is how you will react on the mats. Yeah. Right. And like, really though, what, I'm, what, like, it's one thing to say, oh, I'll react this way. Or I ask a question and somebody reacts. It's like the majority of the time, somebody either <clears throat> means too far positive or too far negative, right? Very rarely sure. somebody right in the middle and right spot on. Yeah. But in jujitsu, you basically get rid of that and you get rid of it, not only for yourself, but also for them. Right. Hmm. So what do you mean by that? So like the quote is, um, adversity introduces you to who you really are Yeah. as a person. Right. And like on the jujitsu mats, if you're really involved and you're really doing it and you're really giving it your best effort, you'll find out who you really are. Right. But the hard thing is, wow. is a lot of times people there, they get introduced to who they really are and they don't like who they really are. Yeah. Dude, I, see, I definitely see that. I mean, I know for myself, just like, especially this last week was really interesting. We trained twice, right? Monday yeah. and then Tuesday. That's right. And Monday was, I showed up to your class and, just didn't realize it was going to be that many experienced people. For some reason, I thought it was like a, I was imagine like a rookie class in my mind. And it is, that is kind of a be, our beginners class. No too. way. Yeah, that's the beginners. Interesting. Class. Well, I didn't ex- expect a beginners class to be or feel like I was going against people that were as experienced as they were. Okay. For whatever reason. Yeah. And um, yeah, it was really interesting because I'm like. I was trying really hard to like apply some of the stuff that I learned and apply a few moves and it just, it, I found myself getting frustrated. Hmm. I found myself getting tired or telling myself that I was getting really tired. Like all yeah. of my, my point is all of my kind of the demons of my old habits that I've had or the things that I, <laughs> what I'm saying is the, the things I don't like about myself quickly came to the surface when I started trying yeah, really absolutely. hard. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So that hits home for me because that was like one of the things that I was faced with this week. And so then the choice is like, do I lie to myself and tell myself that I'm not actually like that? Oh, look at all these things. I'm not actually like that, you know, or, or do I face it un- unemotionally, objectively and say like, well, I don't like that. So what am I going to do? Just stay the same, you know? Absolutely. No, and, and it gets ho- complicated for yourself too, right? Like and not, and <clears throat> think about this, like not only does it do that to you mentally, but I remember vividly the moment recognizing that it was doing this to me physically as well. And huh. what I mean is, I remember once I looked, started to look at my ears and I'm like, man, this is changing my ears. Like, this <laughs> like is the, changing my call physical that? appearance. appearance uh, uh, cauliflower. cauliflower ear? Yeah. yeah, I'm like, it's literally changing the way I look. And I was like, I, am I okay with that? I had to ask myself <laughs> if, if I was okay with that. And then I even had to ask myself, like, why wouldn't I be okay with having cauliflower ears? And it made me realize that, like, I cared about the way I looked. Oh, uh, more than... More than I should. Well, because kind of everyone <laughs> cares about the way they look at some point, right? Or to some extent. Yeah. So, yeah, you cared about the way that you looked more than <laughs> you cared about how it was changing you mentally. Yeah. Or more than you cared about, like, getting to the next level of being the best version of yourself. Exactly. Dang, dude. Exactly. Yeah. And that, I, dude, I remember looking at myself in the mirror and just looking at my ears and almost like doing exactly what you're saying where you're like, do I face this or do I just say enough? Like I would rather have a different kind of ears than 
yeah. improve myself. Or like, I don't really even care because the mental aspect that I'm gaining does it like it's far outweighs any of this, these negative things, or potentially but it takes negative work things. And it's hard. Yeah, for sure. Dude, that's really fascinating. 